Today is the first day of the last semester of nursing school and I thought I would take you along with me. So I just finished my morning stuff and got dressed for the day. Normally I would never, ever, ever in my life, ever, show up to school wearing real clothes. I'm a big believer in sweatpants or leggings, but I, well let me turn you around. But the class is all the way in Dallas and I'm leaving straight from class to meet some friends for happy hour and I won't be back to change so I'm just getting ready in the morning and we're gonna be... We're gonna be sporting the jeans all day. So I just kind of finished up my morning, had some breakfast, rinsed off, got dressed, and it's about 10.45. But right now, I'm gonna take the time to get organized, just with my classes and everything, before I go into them, which usually happens after, like on the second week of school. But for the sake of the video, I guess, I just wanted to talk about um, how I get organized for nursing classes and everyone does it differently but this is just kind of what I do and I feel like it's more more minimalistic than some of my classmates maybe I feel like people in nursing school are really type A and really organized um, but what I have is I mean I do have a planner it's this huge planner it's from Erin Condren and I really recommend it if you're super into planners I'm not I probably didn't need to get this, but what I do every semester is I assign a different color per class. My classes are on Canvas and you can change the colors on there, whatever. So I have different pens for different classes and I'll go through the syllabus, which I'm about to do, and I'll write down when tests are and I'll write down like when stuff is due. That's all I write down. I don't I don't fill in like readings or whatever details because I feel like even with the things that are due, professors always change it and I end up never looking at my planner. I think that's happened every year of my life. But I just like to have a quick reference of like when I have a test coming up so that I know what I can do that weekend basically. But I've realized throughout nursing school that yeah, I really don't refer back to this too often because things always change and I don't take it with me. I just keep it on my desk. But a few semesters ago, I was super, super busy, like down to the hour. If I procrastinated an hour, I wouldn't get something done in the day. Um, because I was working a part-time job with a nursing school, which I still do actually. And I imagine I'll have to use this again. I didn't really earlier this year just because things were a little bit different with COVID. But one thing I really, really do recommend if you are just like booked for the day is this. I ordered it off of Amazon. I can probably link it. I don't know. But it's basically like it's not the most environmentally friendly, which I don't love. But it's this little list. And it has the date on the top and then it has today, it says today's schedule and it breaks it down by hour and then it has to-do lists that you can check off. And I really like it on super busy days um, because I can just see my whole day at a glance and then once the day is over with you tear it off and that's that. I find I'm more productive when I plan my day the night before or in the morning and I just really like this because I realize that every day is a little bit different. So 
And then I have a to-do list on my phone too. Maybe I am a little type A. I have a to-do list on my phone too, but that's just for non-school stuff, whatever. Usually I feel like I end up using my phone calendar. Like when professors do start to change due dates or they throw something on, I'll like put it in my phone calendar really fast with an alarm because I know that if I don't have an alarm, I'll forget about it. So really I just kind of do a mixture of these things and I end up surviving. So that's all you can really ask for, right? So the classes that I am in this semester, well, I should probably look because I don't really know what they're called. I'm in three classes. It's for S2, they call it. I'm in CCI, which is Critical Competency and Integration. And that's basically your capstone where you follow a preceptor. It has a clinical attached to it. And I think it's just kind of preparing us to take the... I was gonna say the HESI. It's preparing us to take the NCLEX and that's all I really know about it. I'm in community health, which I think is pretty straightforward. And then I'm in an elective, it's leadership and management in nursing, which I don't really know what that entails, but I will figure it out. I think I just word vomited on you, but that's just kind of what I'm doing right now to look at the semester at a glance. Also, something I forgot to add that's huge with nursing school as I'm as I'm working on this, along with like tests and due dates of things, I also make sure to write down when clinicals are because at least at our school, they aren't every week. Typically, they're every other week or sometimes they might be back to back. So I always write that down as well. And it's hard to remember, especially when you have clinicals in more than one class. Right now, I am just looking at that for my community health. They posted the schedule and I'm putting it in there. Right now, I am leaving to run a couple errands. I have to take some clothes to the tailor um, for a wedding. And then I have matcha, an afternoon pick-me-up. Um, this does not happen every day. I am a recovering coffee addict and I'm trying to cut down usually i'll have a coffee in the morning maybe two coffees in the morning and then a cup in the afternoon or evening too and i just feel like no one needs that much caffeine so i'm trying to switch to matcha which is still caffeine but um a lower amount and a more sustainable form mmm dirt now it's good Okay, here we go. Realizations now that I've driven 20 miles to get here. One, I forgot my wallet that has my ID, money, everything. And two, I forgot my ID that gets you into the school. So we're off to a good start. Just finished with that one class that I had and now I'm on my way to Anna's. I have some work that I have to do today a little bit and then we'll head to dinner. This right here, just like caffeine, is one of my vices. I have an apple, maybe two, every single day. So of course I had to pack one. So that was my first last day of nursing school. I hope you guys enjoyed and followed along and I will see you in the next one. Bye.